Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will talk about how to pull with Git. So, what is a pull operation first of all, right? So, what is the difference between pull, Git, and push? The very common interview question, right? Push means what? We are making our remote changes to what? Or local changes to what? Remote. What is clone? To get entire copy from the what? Remote to local. We have to use clone. What is pull? Suppose you have the project and uh, let us assume that you have two classes A, B. Same, the two classes is there in remote and what? Locally. Some other second user or third user, he added some files. That files you don't have it. If you want only the files what not there in your local and what is there in remote, then go for what? A pull. Right? So how to pull it? What is syntax? Now say here, git pull from where you want to pull it? The origin. This is the origin. Right? Now see here. So just open the eclipses to eclipse. This is the first one and this is the what? Second one. See here. In this first one, we have two classes. One is demo and one more is what? Git test. In demo, how many lines of code we are having? Just around eight lines of code. See here. In this same second also, open that one. Yes. So here also, say I'm having same demo public static environment or not? Yes. But go back to this one. But here I had one more line extra. What is that? System dot out dot print and what is that? Demo. Right. Even in the earlier, we committed this code as well. Right. To the remote. But uh, this person is having that code. This person is not having the latest remote code. And uh, go back to this in this get test. I'm having total eight lines of code, two SYS for statements. I hope here also I'm having the same get test, the yes, same, right? So this user, this second user is already committed the code to the what? Remote. I want the latest remote changes to my what? This first project, right? Now see here in this. Demo, I am having that SYS of demo one, this which is committed by the what? The second user, right? Now see here. Now, so where you want to go out now? So where this project is there? Right click. So properties, E colon, so go to E drive. Yes. Now here, get what now? Get a pull URL. Click on enter now. Now see here. Right, it's done. See here. So two things are added, right? So two files got changed to one instruction, right? Now just go back to this. This one. Now just to do what now? Refresh. Just refresh it. See here. This line of code came or not? Yes. Right? Yes. Let us assume that here I am adding, here I am adding something called SYSO added by first user. Right? I am done it. Now I want to push the code. How can I do that? Three steps I have to follow. Staging, do commit and do what? Push. So before that, check the status, git status. I changed one file or not? Do staging it. How can do that? Do that. Hit add star. Click on enter. Staging is done. Check that status. Yes, done. On. Yes, staging is done. Now do what now? Commit the message. Do commit iPhone M. Yeah. Now I'm adding something like um, first to user commit. Something like that. I'm adding. Just click on enter. Now push the code. Now git push where you want to push it here now just click on enter now see what happens now just stop here now it's done right go back to that just refresh it just refresh it now see here what is that go back to this online test now here what is that First user commit. So here I committed something or not? Yes. So here 
under this what is added see here here added what is that added by first user this is the code added or not added by first user now first user is having whatever what is remote is having the first user having the same code or not yes but uh, this second user is having the latest code he is not having the first user is added some code into this uh, demo or not yes am i having that i don't have it i want that changes in the remote what is not there in my local then do what pull it so where i am into d drive now here do i what and do it now git a pull now enter now just observe here now it's done see here two files got changed and one instruction just added one line of code right yes now go to your eclipse this is my eclipse right see here automatically added by first user came or not yes right guys see here what it is having whatever it is having this first user now the same second user having or not yes now first user is having the same code second is having the code what remote is having it or not yes this is called what clone this is called what sorry this is called what a pull right yes thanks for watching the videos have a good day thank you so much guys